I'm going to show you in depth how I'm editing my videos in seconds using this awesome new AI tool called Submagic. So before I found this tool, I used to have to manually edit all my short form videos in Final Cut Pro, CapCut. So this will be my in depth review and tutorial for Submagic. I'm going to go over all the major features and show you how to use them. Then I'll get into some of the limitations and considerations versus pro editing tools because there are some things you still might need those tools to do. And then we'll take a quick look at how much it costs and if it's worth your money but let's jump right into it and if you want to follow along with the video click the link in the description or comment down below and you will be taken to sub magic right here next all you have to do is hit try for free and then either sign up with Google or enter an email and password and your account will be created in under a minute then once you've created your account all you have to do now is add your first video so just go plus video and I will just drag something in I already have here. Then all you have to do is choose your language and there's a number of supported language so it can subtitle things in not just English, but this video is in English so I will just hit upload. And now it's going to take a little bit of time to upload. It usually takes less than a minute depending on the size of your video. And after uploading, it's then going to caption your video. So it's going to process your text and build those captions using AI. So once your captions are done, it will take you directly into your video where you can start editing. Now, the first thing you might want to do is actually trim your video down and cut out any sections that are not needed. So just hit trim over here. Now, all you have to do is literally highlight and hit delete and Submagic will delete that part on the timeline and you can see the timeline right here where that content is deleted. So if you can edit Word documents or email, you can edit videos. This feature alone is game changing. You don't need any special skills. Then it'll actually remove these long pauses for you. So just go silence and it has just removed that. And I purposely picked something with a lot of takes and mistakes. So I'm gonna play it and show you how it all works. Number one is to increase the quality of your traffic. That's you can do is to emailing if your customer perceives it to be more value for it. Number three is to have a better value ladder with multiple upsells or recurring revenue. And number four, what is number four? Right? So I go, what is number four? So I'm thinking to myself, right? So if I want to remove that, and you can see, you can also edit faster because you don't have to watch the video to see like, oh, what part do I cut? No, it's all here in text. Like I know I'm talking to myself <laughs> here. So if I wanted to say for sake of time, I'll just cut that out. And let's say I cut all of this stuff out. Then when I play from here. Three is to have a better value ladder with multiple upsells or recurring revenue. And number four, number four is the Exactly, and so it took all of this out for you, and that is how easy it is to edit and trim down your videos. So once you've trimmed down your video, then you can start to add captions. And so right off the bat, they got a number of captions for all the biggest creators. So if you want captions like Alex Hormozzi, you just have to hit one button and it's already done for you. You see the emojis, the animations, the colors, everything. Or if you want Layla Hormozzi, or if you want a different uh, Alex Hormozzi style, or if you want Ali Abdal or maybe Mr. Beast, you can see so many different options here and it just does it in real time and you can preview it and decide what you like the best. You can even actually edit and customize this and make your own theme if you'd like. And if you do that, then you can just select all of these options as you see fit. Let's say you created a theme and it'll just add it right there. So you can start with someone else's theme as a template and then make your own if you'd like. Next, you can see how well it captures your text so you can see it was 98.5% accuracy which is really impressive and I've honestly never seen it below 98% now you might still want to go in here and edit the captions just to make sure that everything is exactly the way you want and all you have to do is just click here and type if there are special words like the name of your business that's not a proper English word or any other special kind of terminology in your industry that might not be what a standard English or whatever language you're using would know here to recognize, then you can actually click on things and add the word 
to your dictionary. And what this will do is next time the platform will know that that's that word and how to caption it correctly. So you can start to build up your repository. And also within here, you can add animated emojis. So let's say I wanted to add this, then I wanted to add this money symbol and I wanted to add this monkey. <laughs> then when I play things, you can see here, it'll just animate that right there as you just saw. Likewise, you can actually add sound effects. So if I wanted to add a money sound and this one's a ding and this one is a staple, then if I play it, these are the four best ways. To and you can hear it right there. It's a little faint because I'm playing it through a speaker while speaking, but you'll have to trust me that it is making that sound. And if you'd like to, you can even crank it, the volume up on it right here. If you want it to really be louder and you can play with that there. So it's like, these are the four you heard it now. Now this next feature is just as amazing as the text cutting and editing and the automatic captions. And that is to be able to automatically add B-rolls and zooms and transitions with just one button. So the first thing you wanna do is to select how much B-roll you want. I like to have about 33%. So that's like one every three seconds or something like that. You could go for 40 or 50 or something like that. And that's just a preference of yours. I did 33 here and all you have to do is hit magic B-rolls. Then just wait a few seconds and just like that, it just added B-roll and you can preview the B-roll right there in your video. So now you have this B-roll with the transitions and you can kind of see how that goes. And the AI is gonna read your text and try and do the best job it can to pick something. And I would say that it's not 100%, sometimes it's a little hit and miss, but what you can do is you can hit this and then you just have to click on this and you can swap it out for anything you want. Let's say I wanted to have in here money or something like that, then I would just type money and you could insert that if you wanted to and just hit apply. And then our change is now there. And so you can tweak and play with that as needed. And this is another amazing feature that just takes the professionalism and the level of editing and quality for just a talking head video you could just film. Now you have all of these B-rolls and all of these sound effects and text that's really high quality. And that's how you really keep attention and you keep retention, which for every single social platform is the most important metric. And the reason for that, as you may know, is their job is to keep you on their platform for as long as possible so they can sell more advertising. The longer your session, the more advertising they can sell. So if you can make your videos more engaging, then that's how you win and get the algorithm to serve you more. And then once we're done with that part, then what you can do is to increase with that retention even a little more is add a AI hook. And so what this will do is add a special intro element to your video that kind of summarizes what the video is about and just make sure that that person doesn't scroll away. So you can see here, my video now starts with this text here with the more money blueprints, which is kind of like, hey, this is what this video is about real quick. And so you have the opportunity to edit that as you see fit if what the AI generated isn't to your liking. And you can also play around with the settings here. And so once all that's done, you could just export your video and you are ready to go. But you still have to write your description and hashtag, right? Well, Submagic actually does that for you as well. And so you can see here in one second, it just wrote my post and gave me all the hashtags. And all I have to do is hit copy here and I can paste it. I can create a shorter version or a longer version if I want for different social platforms and it will do that for me. So you can see there. Now, another cool feature is you can actually add your own logo or you can add some text. I'll show you the text first. Let's say you wanted to add some text in here, like you wanted to have an additional call to action or something like that, then you can just add it in there. Or if you wanted to, you could just grab a logo and watermark it like that. I'll just grab anything off my computer here to show you quickly. And you can just grab that and throw it in there. And then what that'll do is add it to your video just like that. And you can play around with the position of that if you'd like as well. Now, the next thing you can do is actually add music. So the first thing you can do is play with the volume here and then just go add music and you can drop your own music in or you can pick from some of the premium music here. And then if you like that, just drop that in and 
a better value ladder. And you can hear that music playing in the background and that's how easy it is to add it. And now when you're ready, all you have to do is hit export and you have an option between 1080p and 4K and 30 and 60, and I'll just do 1080p 30 for now. Hit export, and in about a minute, your video is going to be ready. And once it's done processing, just hit download video and it'll start downloading. And then when that's done, you can actually watch it and see how all your edits took place and you can see it's exactly like we wanted. Perfect. And now all you have to do is upload this to your social platforms and you can grab that description again here, just hit copy. And I wanna show you a few more features that'll make things a little bit easier for you. So it does have a handy folder feature so you can create a folder and organize your projects if you have various different projects or businesses that you wanna run and you just grab it and drag anything you want into a folder. Next, you can actually invite people to collaborate in your space and all you have to do is put their emails in and then they will be able able to join you and see all of these projects. Lastly, I mentioned that dictionary and here's where you can start adding words like your own special branded keywords or your own industry terminology just so Submagic gets those right. So Submagic can do some pretty awesome stuff, but I do want to talk about a couple of considerations and limitations you should be aware of. Well, firstly, what is this tool best used for? Well, it's best used for short form vertical social media, so it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, and it can also do traditional horizontal video, but shorter videos. It's a tool that lets you get to that 80, 90% quality level very, very quickly. I'm talking about in probably a fraction of the time it would take you to do it with a traditional editing tool. So as a business owner and content creator, what does this really mean? This means that you're able to get out maybe 10 times the amount of content at 80 to 90% quality level if you were to do everything manually and this assumes that you're a video editing whiz. If you're not, then this is doing it better than you using a pro tool. But the point is, this is able to get you that volume and quality together, which is obviously the holy grail, the magic bullet. Now that said, you also need to keep in mind that this tool cannot do everything a professional video editing software can do. So you can't do things like green screens. You can't really tweak every single zoom and transition and do anything like that, like custom animations, or you can't really just put text or images wherever you want overlaying on top of each other. So it does have limitations in terms of what you can do if you're really trying to create some unique custom thing. But again, that's not the purpose for this tool. I would challenge you to do an experiment and test three videos at an 80, 90% quality level of editing done in a few minutes versus one video you spent half a week manually editing. And you see what happens after four weeks, which approach gets you more traction. Now, the last consideration is this product is really not for long form video. The maximum video length you can upload and that's with the highest tier plan, and we'll get into the plans in a moment, is 10 minutes. But again, this is not really a consideration because where this tool shines is short form video and you really don't wanna even exceed five minutes when it comes to short form video. So this is really not a consideration because if you are editing over 10 minute videos, then you should be using a professional tool. And now real quick, I wanna cover the pricing plans. So immediately when you sign up, you get put on the free plan. And so the free plan lets you export up to three videos and you basically get everything you see here, except there is a watermark added to your video and instead of 20 videos, you get three. So by upgrading to the starter, what you get is you get to upload more videos and you remove the watermark. Now the limitation here is that you can only upload two minute videos. So if you're really doing under two minute clips, this is still a great price and value. And so that's $14 at the annual and $20 if you're going month to month. 
Now, this is the growth plan. I'll leave it on the annual. And this is the plan I'm on. And I think it's the best value. You get all of this stuff. And now you get to upload unlimited videos and you get to create your own custom templates. So previously when I showed you, you could make your own style. Well, that's a premium feature here. And you can upload up to five minutes, which is probably gonna cover the vast majority of users doing short form video. And on top of that, you also get premium assets here. So those are the premium sound video and images when you're adding those elements to your videos you get this premium higher quality library to choose from and then it has a bunch of other features that can help you be more efficient and lastly the business plan here is for anyone who needs to upload up to 10 minute videos or export or import in 4k or needs 60 frames per second support maybe you have a gaming channel of course you also get unlimited videos and templates which if you're running an agency and use this for your clients would be really helpful in addition to that folder feature to keep all your clients organized. And so the growth plan is 34 for the year and 90 for business, switch it to monthly 50 and 150. But I'm actually gonna hook you guys up with a little discount. If you use the promo code extra 10, then you can actually get an additional 10% off these prices, which does help. And it does compound on top of the discount you're already getting for the annual, so that is pretty good savings. I recommend you just get started with the free plan first, try it out, see how it works for your content, and then decide if the upgrades are worth it and you're getting value out of it. Speaking of value, if you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you could tap that like button. It really helps me and the channel out. That's all I ask. And if you want more time-saving tools and productivity hacks, check out the channel. In fact, now that you have all these short form videos, how cool would it be if you could have all these videos post to all your platforms on autopilot? Well, check out this video right here if you wanna learn how to do that. I'll see you over there.